passage of the National Pensions Act 2008, Act 766, by design, was intended to bring some relief to contributors of the scheme, but its implementation has not gone on as planned. Managers of the Social Security and National Insurance Trust have been blamed for making bad investments with workers' contributions. Revelations from the 2020 Auditor General's report indicates that SNITs lost in excess of 70 million cities from the liquidation of three of its investments with a cash outlay of $14,768 million. Some pensioners are of the view that such bad investments have resulted in the low premiums received. The Africa Center for Retirement Research believes that more could be done by SNIT to cushion Ghanaians contributing to the scheme. We are in 2023 and pensions, the pension power lost by pensioners needs to be uh, restored. So what SNED does is they will pick from January inflation, February inflation, all the way up to December. They find the average. The average was 31.5% for the year 2022. So indeed, if you want to restore the purchasing power of the pensioners, then we should be talking about 31.5%. This conversation is to guide how we index pensions going forward. And I believe that um, throughout the year, the Africa Center for Retirement Research will be engaging the stakeholders on, you know, using science and data on the need to trick or on the need to change the method used to index pensions in this country. Because as long as we stay with the current formula, we are just broadening the economic gap between the rich and the poor. And that is completely at variance with the social security principle of solidarity. He noted that a review could save SNIT 8 million cities monthly. 64% of pensioners in the poverty region rely on 36% of the national pension wealth, while the remaining 36% of the pension population who fall within the middle and upper class share the rest. Although government has indicated it will not include the pension fund in its domestic debt restructuring program, the Africa Center for Retirement Research wants SNIT contributors to remain extra vigilant.